Why should we connect PIMCODAM to Shockware 6? Think about such a source image like this one. This image should be uploaded and maintained only once in the complete, complete image management workflow. But this single image has to appear in different layouts. In this home page is a teaser in aspect ratio of one to one. And in this landing page is a head image in an aspect ratio of 21 to nine. Additionally, the image should automatically appear in different aspect ratios depending on the viewport. On a desktop PC or laptop in 21 to nine, on a tablet in 16 to nine, and on a smartphone in three to four. And you may need for each different aspect ratio a custom cropping to have a good focus of the product. And finally, to have the best performance of the website on any device, for each different aspect ratio, several thumbnails has to be rendered. You may end up in 20 to 30 thumbnails that has to be rendered out of only one source image. To create such a comfortable management of images, MDM image objects are needed. The corresponding MDM objects will be created and assigned automatically during the upload of new assets to PIMCore. Things like image type, license information, and metadata can be maintained, managed directly. The different aspect ratios can be managed within the created MDM image objects. After publishing an MDM image object, several thumbnails have to be rendered. In the current case of the new website, 23 different thumbnails are needed. The rendering process is managed by an image queue within PIMCore. This queue is visible on the PIMCore dashboard via custom report. For getting more than 20 image thumbnails rendered as fast as possible, we introduced optimized rendering methods into PIMCore. Compared with the standard PIMCore rendering, the process will run up to two and a half times faster. The connection to Shopware is done by introducing a PIMCore-based media library in Shopware 6. With this seamless media library, you can pick a PIMCore image within the Shopware admin. This media library is connected to the Shopware categories, the templates, and the Shopware products. Within this media library, by default, the given PIMCore hierarchy tree is displayed. For a full text search function, you can search across all information of the images, including its metadata. You can filter for aspect ratios and image types. Alerts and warnings are available for license limitations, poor image resolutions of the source image, and image limitations of the aspect ratios. The PIMCO image queue is displayed in the Shopware admin as well to have an indication if PIMCO is still rendering thumbnails. Deep links to the image object within PIMCO are, are also available in the Shopware admin. But now let me show you how this is working, how you can do mass uploads of assets in PIMCO, including the creation of corresponding MDM image objects. First, we create a new folder in the assets section. We are uploading three images via drag and drop. In this dialog, you can preset some settings for the upload images. For example, you can choose if the image has transparencies to preserve, or you can set license information. After upload, let's refresh the tree. As you can see, the folder and the corresponding MDM objects are created. You can see a preview of all needed aspect ratios that have been generated automatically. You can manage license information of each, each image. And you can maintain several meta information like CO title and alternate text. Now we'll introduce these images into Shopware. Imagine we want to add one of our upload images as a teaser image on this homepage. Let's open the layout in the Shopware admin. Open the settings of the template block. Here you can see the PIMCO media library. Just open it. And in the upper right corner, the indicator shows that PIMCO, the PIMCO queue is still running and rendering the thumbnails of the three new images that we had just uploaded. We can also check the PIMCO queue in the PIMCO dashboard. 
Add a portlet for a custom report to your dashboard. Choose a dumb queue active report. And the report shows that the three images are still running. And after Pimco has finished the rendering of the thumbnails, we can continue within Shopware. Now we can pick our new images. Back in Shopware at the Pimco Media Library, now our new folder and the three new images are available. You can also do a cross-folder search on all PIMCO images, including its metadata. Notices and warnings are displayed on some images. If the original size does not fit the template requirements, or if the image is not allowed to use in its aspect ratio. Now you can choose your image, save the layout, and reload the front end. The image is placed into the layout using the given one-to-one -one aspect ratio. We can use the same image for different occurrences in the front end. Think about this landing page. Here we want to use the same image. But in this case, it's a head image of the page. We step into the layout, add a head image slider, do some configuration, open the PIMCO Media Library, and just pick exactly the same image. In the front end now, the 21 to 9 aspect ratio is used in a higher resolution. Changing the croppings of all the used images is quite easy. In this case, the current cropping should be adjusted. In our image, the visible door on the right side should be removed in this one-to-one -one thumbnail and in this 21 to nine thumbnail. To manage that, you just have to open one of the page layouts and use the deep link that opens the image within PIMCOR. In PIMCOR now, you can adjust the croppings. For the one-to-one -one thumbnail, and for the 21 to nine. After publishing the dumb object, the PIMCO queue is updating the thumbnails. And you don't know, do not have to change anything in the Shopware layout. Just reload the front end and you will see that the one-to-one -one image is updated and the 21 to nine image is also updated. A benefit of this DUM management is that you have the control of the usages of your images in Shopware. In the usage tab of the image object, all layouts, categories, and products are listed that are using these images in Shopware. Just read out the object and you will see that the two Shopware layouts are registered for the usage of that image. This is useful if, for any reason, you have to replace an image and check all its occurrences. Okay, this was a small demo of the integration of PIMCODAM into Shopware 6. On our roadmap, we have some further developments of this integration. We want to optimize the complete content maintenance process, especially we want to introduce the possibility to perform the asset upload to PIMCOR directly in the Shopware Admin for a more seamless workflow.